With high humidity and heat, Florida can feel like a constant sauna in the summer months. This is why Floridians take full advantage of air conditioning. It is fitting that Floridians should love air conditioning so much because it was invented right here in our state. It was a technological innovation that affected the trajectory of Florida's history. A man by the name of John Gorey from Appalachia, Florida, invented an early version of air conditioning and refrigeration. One of the first records of refrigeration dates back as far as 1000 BC to when the Chinese cut and stored ice. Civilizations like the Egyptians and the Indians also had early versions of an ice making such as leaving pots of water outside on cold nights. Romans would make pits of snow and used their own type of insulation to keep it cool. The evolution of ice continued to grow and at the time Dr. Gorey started his experiments people were still buying large blocks of ice typically shipped from out of state. Dr. John Gorey is considered to be the father of air conditioning and refrigeration. At the time, during the 1840s, yellow fever was killing thousands of people. Dr. Gorey wanted to help find a cure. He believed that the solution would be to, to drain the swamps. He theorized that if you drain the swamps, the mosquitoes would have nowhere to live. Meanwhile, yellow fever ravaged the state. While trying to find a way to keep the sick people's fevers down, he invented the medicine that would lay the foundations for what we consider today as air conditioning. He would have ice shipped by river to the sick rooms where he would hang the ice in a basin, causing the room to become cooler. He grew tired of waiting for the ice shipments, and that led him to go on to create an artificial ice-making machine. Corey went on to create several versions of the refrigeration unit. He got several patents, including the first patents recorded for air conditioning and refrigeration units. He attempted to sell and produce his product, but it was a commercial failure. Several other people went on to create vastly improved inventions of both refrigeration and air conditioning. The next major jump in air conditioning technology came with a brilliant inventor named Willis Carrier, who by the age of 25 had invented a revolutionary new air conditioning system that was more portable and affordable. While his air conditioning units were affordable, they were mainly bought by middle class and upper class civilians or buildings such as movie theaters, where large crowds of people gathered. The success of his units allowed him to continue to tinker and invent more devices. After a long and successful career selling air conditioning, Willis Carrier died. His legacy carries on to this day through his company, Carrier Air. After Carrier, and even alongside him, grew several competitors, including GE. By the 1950s and 60s, it became commonplace for air conditioning units to be in houses. Each model became smaller and more efficient as the years rolled by. This trend continued all the way to present day. Most Floridians hate when their power goes out and they have to sit in a non-air conditioned house for a few hours. So it's hard to imagine living in the Florida heat without something to cool us down. While Dr. Gorey might not have been a commercial success, he is still remembered today through his influential inventions and a park here in Florida.